After a four-year renovation, the International Perfume Museum in Grasse has reopened its doors to the public. On est d'accord pour le moment, vous sentez, vous vous concentrez, faites comme si vous étiez des parfumeurs justement. One of the major new changes is the introduction of olfactory workshops which allow the visitors to take part. Donc épicé, sucré, encore sucré pour vous It's fun to discover fragrances which you already know, says this visitor and others which you don't, some are nice and others are not. This is much more interesting than usual, says another, because someone usually just hands us the bottle. The museum has doubled in size and acquired a second building, the minimum amount of space necessary to exhibit 4,000 years of perfume history from ancient Egypt to the present day. The actual perfume museum is split in two by the town ramparts. There are two main parts, one contemporary and the other an 18th century house, which exhibits a series of historical paintings. The old part of the museum also houses its most valuable item, Marie Antoinette's travelling case. It's a magnificent item. It's made out of ebony and mahogany and it contains porcelain and silverware. It's like the ancestor of our modern toilet bag, only ten times better. I don't know whether you're used to travelling with a box which weighs 40 kilos and which contains everything you need to keep your bed warm, like a modern hot water bottle. There's also a chocolate warmer, a spittoon and a mirror. The collection is made up of 50,000 items, including some of the most unusual, rare and priceless files. This one was designed by French architect Hector Guimard, especially for the Universal Exhibition of 1900. Visitors can also learn about perfume distillation and why in the 18th century Grasse became the world capital of perfume. Grasse was famous for its tannery. The leather was perfumed and as time passed, the perfume turned into a scent. There were two professions, the tannery on one side and the perfume business on the other. The perfume business also developed due to the town's microclimate and its particularly advantageous economic conditions. Used as both a drug and a tool for seduction, here in Grasse, the history of perfume has crossed the ages.